Hey, this is Paul at Paul Component. Uh, we're doing another video on one of my bikes. Just want to talk about uh, how it came to be. A couple, couple parts I've been using on this bike. Um, what we have is an All City Macho Man disc. And you might be saying to yourself, well, Paul, why don't you have one of those really nice custom frame builders from Northern California that you're always hanging around with? Uh, and the reason is I needed an off-the-shelf frame uh, right away as soon as we got about half done with a prototype disc brake um, I realized I needed one uh, just right now a custom frame would be great could take up to a year this I had within a week it's a great riding bike I've had a lot of fun on it I've uh, been riding it for about two and a half years now we've been working on these brakes for a long time one fun story about this is I love this giant uh, cassette back here. I absolutely love it. 10 to 42. Uh, it's, it's SRAM XX1. Um, and I'm out riding on a different bike and I'm thinking, how, how am I going to, how, I want that on a drop bar bike. And I don't want a front derailleur. I just want simplicity of one shifter. And I'm thinking, how am I going to do that? And uh, this is what I came up with. Um, this is a shifter bracket. Simply mounts an X, a uh, yeah, uh, one by sh uh, SRAM shifter on your handlebars. Um, and this is one of those things where I had an idea in the morning, came to work, made some sketches, went out to the machine shop, and by that afternoon I had it on a bike and it was working. Now that I think is one of the uh, really neat things about this place uh, that we can do that not a lot of big companies can do that um, the other reason for this bike well, well I told you was the uh, the disc brakes um, now I just want to take a look at these here um, and at this point the prototype process was pretty far along in fact we had sent some to anodizing the caliper bodies itself uh, in the the uh, adjusters, these adjust the pads in and out, there's one on each side. Um, we were still had been working on the detents, which is the a little uh, indexing, you could say, for each uh, position for adjusting, fine adjustment of your pad. Um, what I, the last thing that I, we've been working on on this, uh, this part that's so anodized, is the arm. Now this arm length is critical because we want it to work with a short pull lever or, uh, or a long pull lever. Uh, we're going to have two versions. This is a short pull lever, but we want this to have great power, great modulation. We want to hit that sweet spot where it, it doesn't rub the disc all the time, but you still have good power. And when the power comes on, it is an on or off. We, we, like, to, to, we like a little bit of ease in and ease out. Um, and it turns out this is the final length. Uh, this is still a prototype. Um, but this is the final length. And these parts are getting made now. And hopefully when you're watching this, well, I'm sure they will be available. So that wraps it up. Uh, just, you know, standard parts mismatched because I get them from the mismatched bin, uh, bins when I need to build a bike. Um, and if you uh, would like to leave some comments on this video, please do so. We want to hear what you have to say. And head over to paulcomp.com and get some more information on these products. Thank you.